I am Marchi C. Calago and I am the reporter in this part of the topic. Creating a positive school culture. An obvious goal for school leaders is for schools to develop and maintain strong cultures. They are going to build and embrace good relationship and understand different cultures and beliefs to each individual. According to Jones 2009, a school with string cultures will have effective leadership with exceptional student performance. School principals and teacher leaders must focus on comprehensive organizational transformations in order to build a new culture of change, and this includes the following. The first one, defining the role of the school principal, teacher, and school community through open communication and academic growth activities that can be served the needs of a particular school community. Each position has a distinct role and set of responsibilities. Each role must be familiarized in order to know who to approach when assistance is required and for those in positions to not overwork themselves. The second one. Scheduling effective communication mechanisms such as staff lunchroom visits, department forums, staff meeting pop-ins, and all district personnel rallies. Each work must have a predetermined time when it is completed so that it can be arranged properly and the work can be completed without interruption. The third and the last one have similar positive results. The third one. Sharing successes through employee union newsletters, internal correspondence, and community relations that read further successes for diverse student populations. And the last one, visualizing school-wide and classroom goals that support the goals of a school site and district to generate key results and offering staff development planning that supports these results. In giving and sharing the positive outcomes of every action undertaken leads to a stronger connection since the individuals in that community are motivated and inspired to do more and to do good. There was eight attributes of effective schools with strong cultures that was identified by Deal 1985. The first one, shared values and a consensus on how we get things done around here. Each culture handles situations differently. As a result of sharing differing values and reaching a consensus, several fantastic ideas for getting things done can emerge. The second one, the principal as a hero or heroine who embodies core values. The principal has a lot of responsibilities. Being a responsible principal can inspire everyone to eagerly follow them. The third one, distinctive rituals that embody widely shared beliefs. It can help to strengthen the relationship of the community because they will learn, understand, and respect the different rituals and beliefs of each individual. The fourth one, employees as situational heroes or heroines. Everyone has unique skills that can be useful. It can make it easier to solve any situation because each individual has various skills. The fifth one, Rituals of Acculturation and Cultural Renewal Adopting new methods and revitalizing existing ones can help to make schools and communities more effective. The sixth one, Significant Rituals to Celebrate and Transform Core Values The act of cherishing and converting the essential principles to be ritualized might aid in the development of a greater connection to each individual in a particular group. The seventh one, Balance between innovation and tradition and between autonomy and control. Everything must be kept in balance to avoid unnecessary movements and effects that may be detrimental to certain items. The eighth one, widespread participation in cultural rituals. Participating in widespread cultural rituals might help you broaden your understanding of different cultures and hence better comprehend each individual.